Hi, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, and my guest today is Danilo Schmiedel. Danilo is an Oracle ACE director specializing in SOA and Fusion middleware, and he's a SOA and BPM solution architect with Opitz Consulting in Germany. How are you today, Danilo? Thank you. I'm very good. Hi, Bob. <laughs> so, so you're one of the people behind the creation of a, a rather large poster-sized adaptive case management diagram of the, that, that's actually available on the ArcBeat blog. What is case management and why is it important? Um, I think it is very important and I'm very excited about it. When you look at traditional BPM, you mostly try to put to put a problem or requirement into a process model. Um, this is what we did over the past years um, with BPMN, BPL, and so on. This might be the right choice if we speak about a structured process where you know all activities and stakeholders um, during the design time or if you would like to standardize your work in general. However, um, keep in mind that in those cases, the process mainly controls or drives the user. The process knows when a certain service should be called and uh, the process creates a task for a particular user. Don't get me wrong, um, there are many pro problems out there um, that you can handle with traditional BPM. Um, I'm a big fan of it. In two weeks, myself and some colleagues will start um, a new BPM project of such a structured process in, in, in a company in the automotive um, industry. However, um, regarding adaptive case management, over the last years, we often came into situations where more flexibility is needed. Imagine you have to deal with many different variants in your process or it keeps on changing or you have many different exceptions. For example, um, handle a customer, handle customer requests individually based on his needs, based on his history or based on his location. Um, in those cases, you would like to put the user or we say um, the knowledge worker, we say this on this poster as well. Um, into the center so that he drives the process and not the other way around. And using my uh, previous example, he would decide if a certain service needs to be called and he decides if one or more tasks should be created for different users. And the poster, so we, we uh, discussed with a customer um, in, in, in Germany, an insurance company, and we spoke about BPM and we came into the same situation where we spoke about structured process and is it, uh, can it bring some value to you or, or do you more have unstructured process? And we kind of analyzed the situation there and we came up um, with this, that adaptive case management is, does fit much better into, into the problem that we had to solve there. So, and therefore, from all the, um, again, to the poster and the results that we collected in different workshops and so on, and we just tried to put everything on this poster. So, we are talking about CMMN. This is a new modeling notation, a new upcoming standard um, for case management. So, we try to highlight, highlight some parts about CMMN there on the poster. We're speaking about major building blocks um, that you need uh, to think about in, in adaptive case management. And we also talk about or, or we highlight a few aspects how a user interface should look like in an adaptive case management solution. Now, you, the user interface is certainly a hot topic these days. There's a, there's a lot of, of blog activity and conversation about about the user interface, uh, certainly because of the the uh, the the mobile juggernaut. You know, uh, uh, I was recently reading a, an article uh, that mentioned that uh, in in any kind of development, you have to think about mobile first, because that's increasingly this is how people customers are interacting with customers 
through their mobile device rather than a laptop or a desktop computer anymore. Yeah, this is this is definitely the future, and this is what we discussed uh, with the customer as well. So at the moment, um, or, or they are looking for options and opportunities to um, bring the customer um, directly into the there it was the claims management, you know. So come and get the user into your process. Try uh, try to take the user. And and uh, so that he can drive the process, you know. Now, a, m a moment ago, you mentioned that the poster includes some building blocks for ACM. Can you describe a, a, a few of those building blocks? Yeah, um, some key aspects of adaptive case management are um, that you have an event, that you have events, that you have to think about different phases in your project. You are, you have to think about activities. Stakeholders are another uh, important aspect. Who um, is activating which activity? And also a very important thing. And very often um, when, when people speak about case management, it's not really highlighted that we think um, that also a SOA architecture or a, an integration is really from a technical perspective um, the key to success because it will help you to integrate and embed an adaptive case management solution into your enterprise architecture. So source services would be um, the fu functional building blocks for actions that the user can select on his adaptive case management user interface. It seems like it all comes back to SOA at some point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. At the end, um, we are speaking about SOA again. And we also... Um, when we discussed uh, this quite new topic, um, adaptive case management, we also came up with discussions about new trends and new things like predictive analytics and process mining. So predictive analyst analytics, just a few words about it. So is, is already there. Yeah, I think there is already a solution from Oracle available called Oracle Predictive Analytics. And it is basically um, an automated form of predictive data mining. Mm. So last week I was at the conference in Munich. It's called the BPM Integration Days. And there was Ralph Miller from the development from Oracle. And he explained some concepts and showed examples about uh, predictive analytics. Um, combining predictive analytics and adaptive case management from our point of view is perfect in order to suggest the next best, best action to the knowledge worker. Imagine something like in 80% of the cases, users did action A to finish the claims process and so on and so on. It would help to work more efficiently and it would help that the process really learns you are building knowledge in your in your company. You have the process is around living knowledge. And and the other thing I mentioned was process mining, which is something that you can, or I would say uh, that you should use to extract information from different IT systems. So instead of doing a high amount of workshops. Um, where you speak with different people, how they, they think their process looks like and how they think the company works. Instead of this, establish mechanisms to collect, for example, the audit trail of um, workflow management system or the transaction logs of an enterprise resource planning system and use this information to discover models describing processes, organizations and products. This might be a topic um, that, that might come up more and more in the future. At the moment, it's more a research topic, but we um, found when we discussed about this at conferences and, and so on, and we sh when we showed examples, that uh, this brings definitely value into, into your business because you can avoid scenarios like um, speak with different people about a certain process five different times and get five different results, you know. And process mining uh, tells you what has been executed and with 
OEP, Oracle Event Processing, Oracle already provides, for example, the base to collect those information from different systems. So an event architecture would be a very good um, choice as from, from, from a technical perspective to collect the information from different systems. All right. Well, that's a lot of information, Daniel. Thank you very much. Uh, 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 and thanks for taking time this morning to talk to me. Uh, I've been talking with Daniel O'Schmiedel. He's an Oracle ACE director and a solution consultant, a solution architect with Opitz Consulting in Germany. Uh, again, Daniel, thanks so much. Thanks so much. Thank you.